The General Arts and Science program is structured to allow students to enter into either our one-year certificate program or our two-year diploma program. Students in the one-year certificate um, always have the option of transferring into our two-year diploma without any issue or vice versa. Our diploma students sometimes opt to transfer into the one-year certificate. Students are able to go on to other college programs through both the certificate and diploma programs. Um, typically though, our diploma level students are interested in going on to university and accessing one of our many university pathways. Well, initially my plan was to get into the trade. Um, I grew up in a family where my father's a millwright and my dad and my brother is a, a mechanic. So I thought I was going to take that route. Um, at 18 years old I started doing drywall. Did it for a year, realized it wasn't really my thing. And I was kind of limited for options. I've always wanted to be a teacher, but I didn't know really know how to get there. So I found out about the General Arts and Science program. Uh, I took the two-year program and then uh, it just took me to great places from there. Some go out to work after they complete our program. Uh, but many go on to uh, complete university and um, we have credit transfer agreements and articulation agreements with various universities that will provide students with credit uh, towards their degree once they enter um, into that institution. When I first started taking the program I didn't really know what to expect. Um, as I progressed into second year I remember the teachers here telling me um, at the end of the second year, you're ready for second year university now. And I didn't really know what that meant. And then I, w I entered university the year after in 2010. And um, my first year there, I made a Dean's Honor List for a high academic average. So they were right. I'd say the faculty were integral in, in what I decided to do with the rest of my life. I, I didn't really have designs at the university. It wasn't something that I thought I could do. Um, but Mohawk, the general arts and science program, really readied me. We have built-in faculty-led class advising in every semester of our program, and our faculty are always there to support students, to meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, to Skype with students, uh, to support them after class. As for my experience here, faculty was very great. Um, I just I just spoke with some of the teachers recently, and um, just. The type of classes, they're, uh, some of them are introductory, some of them helped me build my essay, essay writing skills, my critical thinking skills, and these were all things that I wasn't really exposed to in high school. One of the greatest advantages of the General Arts and Science program is that it really prepares students for the post-secondary environment, whether that be at college or university. The General Arts and Science program provided me with a huge advantage um, going into university as opposed to coming straight into high school because it, it brought you back to the framework of what you needed. So I took a communications course and it gave me the grammar skills that I needed, things that you kind of forget about or maybe lose. Another benefit of our program is that it's, um, it's transformative. Uh, truly our students come in in their first week of class and by the time they leave they're different people. They they see the world differently, they see each other differently, they enter often into other program areas um, bringing a wealth of skills and perspectives that they wouldn't have had um, prior to entering the general arts and science program. Well secondary education can seem like a, a long road, um, a hard and difficult one, but uh, if you're persistent like I was, um, taking one step at a time. I began with Mohawk. My first year I didn't really know what to expect. First year turned to two. Two years I ended up going to university. From there I went to uh, Brock University, got my teaching degree. So take it one step at a time and believe in yourself. I've always said to students that it's that first step that was the most courageous step that you took. And um, it's what separates you from others who, who don't take that step.